All right, welcome to the beautiful sunny Mallorca. Although this might not be the beautiful Mallorca because I'm in the car park of a Lidl. <laughs> so I'll show you what's going on. Um, having a few problems with the, well, one problem with the BBS HD. So it seems like the clutch has failed. Inside they have a little, between the pedal and the actual chain ring, there's a clutch. So you can, you can, you can see it is biting, but when you put any force on, you can see there it's slipping, the pedal's just moving around. <laughs> Um, so hopefully I'm just going to open up the uh, open up the drive, and uh, I'm hoping it's just the little tiny clutch piece itself because I have one of those. If it's the actual uh, sort of race that it rides in, and that's worn out, then I'm going to have problems because I haven't got that, and it's quite a big heavy piece because it's all like a one piece gear. So I'm going to open up the drive, have a look, see what it is, and uh, let's see how many kilometres I've done on this first clutch. <laughs> all right, so where are we? Just short of 15,000 kilometers. I actually think I've probably done more than 15,000 kilometers because I reset this uh, trip meter at the start of the sun trip and I'd done a bit of riding before then on this motor. So you're going to see the, the BBS HD on the inside after 15,000 kilometers, uh, including a trip from France to China. So <laughs> this is probably going to be the worst it could be at this uh, sort of distance. So let's have a look. All right, so the steps are crank arm with the bolt, chain ring with the five or six little allen keys around and then you've got to take off this cover plate which is just perfectly sitting in behind the uh, chain ring itself. Alright so 8mm allen key for the Lecky, I think these are called buzz bars, these are not the stock ones that come with the Bafang, they're a little bit stronger and uh, the other ones sort of offset to make it to correct for the offset in um, Q factor I think it's called. Okay so that's step one, takes a bit of force to get it off because you basically using the bolt to pull this off the uh, square taper thing. I think the default uh, standard Bafang arms, you don't have a bolt in the centre. You have to use a crank puller, which is why I bought these, because it's a lot easier when you're on the road just using a single Allen key. Saves carrying another okay, tool. Okay, next up, 4mm Allen key for these uh, five bolts. And that takes off the, um, in this case again, it's like Lecky brand loyalty. <laughs> Uh, this is the Lecky Bling Ring, a really good aftermarket chain ring for the BBS HD. Uh, it looks a little bit different to their stock one, but basically the same process. You just take these five things out with a 4mm Allen key. Alright, chain ring is off. I've just got to use two hands, otherwise I'm going to drop this chain in the gritty floor. Although <laughs> it's already pretty dirty. So, Alright, uh, I'll get rid of this and then we'll go on to the, the next step, which is getting into this part where the gear system is. Alright, we've got six more 4mm Allen key bolts, basically the same ones as before, uh, just around the edge of this part, and that'll lift this whole cover off and we can get inside. Okay, so for taking off the cover plate, you've got to pull it quite straight because there's some aligning pins. It's, it's easy to get it off, but putting it back on, you just got to make sure you get the pins straight. You basically pull this whole front part, you just pull it straight towards you. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Not, oh, there we go, without dropping something. Maybe the clutch will fall out. Just got to be careful of that um, gasket seal as well. So there we go, 15, well it's not a genuine 15,000 kilometer grease wise because I re-greased it fairly recently. So the grease is quite new, <clears throat> as you can tell probably, but the you can see the wear levels, or the lack of wear <laughs> levels. So first thing I'm looking at here is the clutch itself is this part, it's like, I'm going to pull it out in a minute, I can see where it's failed, which is good, because if the part inside here had failed, you see the teeth on the inside of there that's the section that the little clutch rides on. If you wear those out you have to replace this whole gear. <clears throat> I do have one of these gears and they're very cheap to buy if you need one. Um, but obviously I don't want to be carrying a big heavy metal gear around when I'm touring. So I'm going to pull that clutch off and I'll, I'll kind of show you how it works a little bit. Alright so this is the little clutch thing itself. It just goes on these uh, this splined carrier on the main <coughs> sort of drive shaft. Um, it has these three little sets of sort of teeth things that bite into. It's just like a little mechanical clutch, sort of like a one-way. I guess you could think of it as it's so you can freewheel basically. Um, you can see you probably can't see. I can see there's a little bit of wear on the ends, and there seems to be a tiny bit of metal that might have snapped off at some point. So that's probably what's causing the issue. Um, well, at least I'm hoping so, because <laughs> replacing this is super easy. I've got a brand new one in the bag ready to go. I'm just going to stick it in, 
and then uh, put it back together and then hope for the best. Oh, it's so new and unused and unworn and ungreasy. Unlike everything else which is covered in grease, including me. <laughs> um, one point about this gasket, you've got to be quite careful with this because it's quite easy to rip it. Uh, if I was going on a lot, like when I was on the sun trip, if you like cycling outside Europe or you know places where you can't get spare parts, I would take a spare one of these and kind of find a way to protect it and keep it flat. Like I had a piece of cardboard either side of it and then it was taped inside that. Uh, but just be very careful when you're putting it together and taking it apart. Uh, this is what's keeping water out of this section. But I mean, I always recommend greasing these drives. When you get them new, you should you should do everything that I've just done. Open it up, take out all the grease inside here, and use um, I think it's Shell Aero grease, Aero 22 or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember the names. There's one in America that's very accessible, but that's very hard to get in Europe. And it's it's the same. I think it's the same product. Uh, it's like Shell Aero. I'll put them on the screen. Uh, you replace it with that because that's a grease that's suitable for. Uh, coming in contact with the nylon gear that's like behind here. There's like a little nylon gear uh, at the back. You can see because some cause some greases all degrade plastics, so it's just like an aerospace uh, plastic rated grease that makes a big difference. Just fill this with grease. As you can see, it's got loads in there, so that'll help keep moisture out as much as the well, almost as well as the rubber gasket. But still, you've got to try and protect it. All right, new clutch. Let's put it in and see what happens. So I'm going to need both hands to put it back together, I'm not going to have to film it. Uh, I should say as well, you can actually pull this gear out, so you can just... This is not one piece, You can I could lift this like this now and this gear would come out to replace. Um, which I might have to do if this doesn't work, but <laughs> this new clutch looks pretty good and it's got plenty of spring. Because these have to like self-return to the outside, so that's important as well. So for getting it back together, you can't leave the um, clutch on the little splined carrier, you have to sort of squeeze the springs inwards and put it inside its little place in the centre here um, otherwise you can't push it back in because the little silver bits are in the way so you kind of put it in there and then line it up and then slide the whole thing as one back into place so you can see here there's like a, there's a pin there that needs to go into the corresponding hole and there's a pin there so those are the things that are just a little bit tricky to line up sometimes and you've got to line the centre up so rotating the actual crank uh, would help as well sometimes just to get the get everything in line. So if we're just looking at the actual clutch sitting in place, it's got good positive engagement. And I try you can't I mean obviously I haven't got enough torque with my hands to try and backspin it hard, but it looks okay so far. Seems seems alright. Alright, so we're back together. And first tests seem pretty good. <laughs> That's a good start. If that, because before that was just slipping, even under like hand power. Uh, so seems to be improved. That's definitely for sure. But I've got to ride it to be really sure. It could still be slipping. But okay, it's definitely a good start. While I'm here as well, this is like one of the most important tools you should have if you have a BBS HD. You can buy these really cheap from uh, AliExpress, and I think some people like Lunar Cycles just import them and resell them as well. Um, into the US, but uh, it's like a, it's a tool to do the. It's for tightening the nut that actually uh, attaches the whole unit to the bottom bracket, and that that I guess it is a nut. It's just a huge one. That nut always comes loose every now and again, and this gives you enough torque to be able to, particularly uh, particularly this bit. This is a really good. This one. <laughs> this is really good because you can try and use. There's another type of tool that works that's not quite as good as this. It's not like a full circle. It's like a bicycle tool, and if you put too much torque on it, it slips and you can damage the nut, and then it makes everything difficult. Uh, so this makes a big difference because my drive's actually a bit loose again. Every now and again, that's not so bad anymore. Every now and again, they come loose. So while I'm here, may as well do that as well. All right, let's see. Yes. <laughs> well, 
Well, thank God it actually works. That would have been a, a lot more of a hardship if I had to get the other piece shipped out to me. <laughs> but no, we're all good. We're all fixed. We're good to get on the road. I can finally leave this little car park. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you want to see some more of my adventures in Mallorca and uh, on the road, I'm hopefully going to be filming some videos in the next few days. So uh, again, thank you. See you in the next one.